Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media and a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics and things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. Yep, this is my first taste of a thin mint iced coffee. So far, so good. Uh, nobody at work had any problem with my pink hair, or rather, here it looks more like a, um, like a fuchsia but it was supposed to be lavender. But just about everybody there thinks that this color looks good on me. So I'm gonna go with the flow and to tell people that, yes, I'm quirky, but the best thing to do is um, get them with the colored hair. Um, what's also big today? So they finally opened that hot dog place after two weeks of it not being open, and they're still getting ready, but Today I went there and uh, I uh, ordered a hot dog for the first time and before that it was a pizza place but the, the quality of this hot joint is very very high and they have different gourmet hot dogs and it's well worth the money. You can get a, a hot dog for a two dollar, two and a half dollars and you can get it with relish and ketchup and mustard but of course they have other dogs too like they have the chicago dog they have the new york dog which i didn't know what was on it but evidently that classic comes with sauerkraut and uh, brown mustard which i always forget people like to put sauerkraut on their dogs me i just i usually go with the original ketchup mustard relish because that's what i'm used to um i've only ridden through chicago when i was 14. I know that they're big on the hot dogs, and then um, I know New York is big for hot dogs, but it's not really a Georgia thing, or an Atlanta thing, so it's nice not to have another pizza joint. It's nice to have something that will stand out, and I think out of all the places that have been in this uh, rental space, uh, the original hot dog factory will do very well, despite what uh, happened last week, last couple weeks. Um, and the staff and the, um, the owners there are very nice. They look like they know what they're doing and they look like they're very passionate. So I'm excited about it. Uh, yes, I promised you YouTube that I won't be vlogging as much because of me uh, getting an education and all that but I had to tell you some exciting news today, but that's gonna have to wait till later. So basically, uh, I, was, I got myself that iced coffee. It was good, it was nice and smooth, but it wasn't exactly like a, a Thin Mint, you know? Uh, a second thing I'd like to put emphasis on, when I got on that train today, it, uh, the interior of it, or the internal train part of the car, smelled like a bathroom at Walmart. And uh, we on the spectrum have sensory issues. Then one of our sensory issues is uh, scent. Some people can't stand certain smells. I personally, it smelled like a bathroom at Walmart. It smelled like somebody uh, took a poop in the train. And the smell bothered me that I got off at um, the next stop and I just waited for the next train where it was nice and uh, 
for the, the uh, where the scent was more neutral. So, um, there's that. But anyway, I'm on my way to um, get myself a new MARTA bus card because I had qualified for MARTA paratransit for a couple years and that expired. So, being that I have documents, I'm on my way to uh, get myself a reduced fare card until I can get this uh, mobility situation straightened out. And I'm about to walk inside to get what I need. It's several hours later and I do not, or I still do not have my reduced fare MARTA card because the MARTA website right here in the Atlanta area under the reduced fare section uh, is very misleading. They made it sound like they wanted you to bring in your doctor's documents. Well, I got there and that my documents weren't good enough and now they need me to go to the same lady that did my evaluation with me a couple years ago, which was a nightmare to pay for. And I mean, I already have enough things that I need her to do. And now I need her to do one more thing. And I just, I don't feel like fighting her for this um, jargon stuff. And I mean, nonetheless, I still need to get it to done, get it done anyway. Uh, so why am I having this reduced fare? Because I qualified for MARTA Mobility slash Paratransit a couple years ago and my card just expired. So I have been trying to get her the proper application and I got it to her via email a couple weeks ago and I didn't get her all the pages that she needed to fill out. So uh, I'd been waiting for that and in the middle of waiting for a second application from MARTA via mail, uh, my uh, paratransit card expired. So when I uh, took the bus and uh, I took uh, the train, uh, the fares uh, to uh, ride local transportation is absolutely free. But now I have to pay full price until I can prove that I'm able to ride at reduced fare, which I should get. It's just, I don't wanna give uh, my doctor one more thing, uh, being that I have other things I need to, her to do. So, but as a matter of fact, I'm really mad at Marta. If that's not the only uh, BS that I had to deal with yesterday, um, I went to get myself a, a snack in the vending machine and it got caught and the attendant working at the uh, Doorbell Marta station was absolutely uh, the worst. I asked her to help me and she refused to shake the machine. Oh, I can't do that. And then she had this, oh, that's not my problem type of an attitude. I'm not allowed to shake it or anything. So I had to call a customer service. Uh, now these attendants that work at these MARTA, sta these MARTA train stations, they have less manners than a lot of the drivers that uh, operate the buses and the trains. And it's really shocking. You would think that the people that work at the stations would be nicer than the people that actually drive the buses. So anyway, I'm on my way to work. I know that I said I would stop vlogging, but I yesterday was uh, kind of an adventure and I thought I would uh, record that as well. Uh, I'm not gonna do it, I take it back. I'm not gonna do as many day in the life vlogs because uh, they just take a lot of time. Uh, I do wanna do more daily vlogs though. I Now that you guys have seen uh, what my life is like, I kinda like to go back to uh, vlogging um, in my uh, living room uh, but uh, yes there'll be daily vlogs but i'm gonna go back to the uh, five minute daily vlogs but the uh, software is still going to be edited and then uh, i'm going to be getting back into uh, writing again i'll tell you about that in the next video so without further delay if you like what i'm doing please be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe also be sure to share this 
with anybody in your autistic community. Whether you're a professional or an educator, whether you're on the spectrum yourself, or whether you work with Future Horizons or any other publishing companies related to autism, I would absolutely love um, you to share these around. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off. If you will tell me I'm the only one that you love, life could be